Rabbi Shapiro taught our son last year and uh, he was an absolutely phenomenal teacher. Rabbi Shapiro is a very special Rabbi. He's, one of, he's the best mama that I ever had and he's just very nice. In the beginning of the year they have an orientation with all the parents. He looked at all the parents and he said, I want you to know that in my class, before I do anything with one of the boys, with one of the kindlach, I always think, if it was my own child, would I do the same thing? When I walk into Rabbi Shapiro's class, it sticks out and what I see is a Rebbe, Rasulat in Yiddish, Talmidim Enfin in Tzurik in Yiddish, and Alzrat in Dart in Af Yiddish. It's like Yishmak Yizak, Sazen. All the kids that I saw, my son and his friends, they had a year that they, they were constantly excited about learning and anything that had to do with Chassidish My goal of, of, from, that I have of each and every Talmud is that they should love being a Yid, to, to love Torah mitzvahs, love for the Rebbe. I was at Rabbi Rabbi Shapiro, gave me a nice compliment one time, and, and I felt like I was the only, I was, I was like very special. Like when he talks to me, he looks at me, he gives me all the attention. First and foremost, what a Malamid needs to have is Keshet HaTalmidim. Connect to the Talmud. You are here now in his life to help him forward. It's not about you, it's about the Talmud. Rabbi Shapiro, he's very good because he takes us sometimes out for ice cream. He plays sports with us. He pushes an extra mile. He goes further for his, for his Talmidim. Uh, he spends extra time, he puts an extra patience with them, and so it really makes an impact and really sets a good Dukmachaya. A boy can't be in Rabbi Shapiro's class and not feel great about himself. He just wins them over with his warmth, with his love, making them feel special, making them feel like they can achieve. If the Rebbe makes each and every child feel important, show the child you matter to me, I care that you're here, I'm excited to see you. Then you have, you can give him. He's a clear makabal. He's going to be able to accept what you give him. In, in learning, teaching him midis, tefillah, teira, everything, you open them up. Because Rabbi cares about me. Rabbi Shapiro loves to celebrate learning and success. So a Talmud HaShavuah is not just a Talmud HaShavuah. There are multiple boys who win Talmud HaShavuah, not just for being the Talmud. One is for tefillah, one is for Seder Nikayan. One is for um, Midas Tevis. Each Talmud deserves something special for that week, what he shined in. He may have had a hard week in one area, but didn't he do well in another area? Give it to him. Recognition. What made me realize how remarkable his classroom is, I realized it when my child was sick. And so then I needed to be home the whole day. And then I, like 12 o'clock, I was like, oh, when are you going to go on the phone? When are you going to go on the phone? When are you going to go on the phone? When kids are sick in Rabbi Shapiro's class, you call in and you join the class from home. <laughs> so he gets the whole class to wish her full shlema, and then he interacts as if you're there in the classroom. We call Malam Dahi Skalti, yeah, and we tell me the Yisim Mekulam. What I learn from my students is as a chves nishtaltz, that I don't know everything, and there's always more to learn. That's what I get from my Talmudim. And it's beautiful because it keeps me on my toes. It keeps me growing as a mechanic. I was speaking with Rabbi Shapiro and I asked him how many kindlach he has in her. And he told me 31. In the summer at home I have six children in her. But throughout the year, from the first day of school throughout till the last day of school, it's 31 because every one of my Talmudim is like my own child.